Hi everybody, this is Bob Young coming to you uh, from Redline Archaeology again. Um, I'm going to show you the St. Louis Obispo California collection that I just uh, unwrapped and organized a little bit and dusted off. There were 106 uh, loose red lines and uh, 22 uh, blister packed. Uh, there's a bunch of catalogs and uh, all the buttons for all the cars and um, some really nice pieces in there. There are, is some toning more than I normally see in a California collection, but uh, so let's get to it. Here we go. So like I said, there was uh, all the buttons here from uh, all the cars, the loose cars. This guy was very well organized. This was his childhood collection uh, that he's had in storage for uh, over 50 years. No, about 50 years, I'm sorry, he said. Um, he just got out after he read the article uh, that was recently published in The Hustle. Uh, so he uh, reached out to me, uh, went back and forth. Uh, I know he was shopping around a little bit and uh, finally ended up uh, purchasing the collection from him. And, uh, you know, he was happy, I was happy. I thought it was a fair, very fair offer. And, uh, you know, so here we are. So he ended up having four mantises in the blister. Most of these cards are unpunched. Jack Rabbit, Red Mantis. There's that uh, another green one. I guess that's either uh, I can't tell if the laying here, but Yellow Mantis, Jack Rabbit, Red Mantis, Green Mantis. There's a Blue Mantis. Uh, that's a green sand crab, uh, light green. I no. Nah. I I don't know. I, I I'd have to look at these a little bit closer. I'm getting some reflection from the lights. Paddy Wagon, a couple magenta hairy haulers. Um, here we go with a tri baby green. Uh, there is a moth quad with a canopy off of it. That looks like it's a light green, a little bit of toning. Another light green with some toning. Not as much, so this one has a little bit more than the other one does. Here we go with another light green tri baby. Blue beatnik bandit with a sticker of 90, 79 cents on it. We only would have known if we only would have had some deep pockets back then. So this is a copper Shelby. I know that because I already looked at it. This is a hot pink 917. It does have some slate toning on the rear hatch, but not a whole bunch. It is a really pretty piece. I can give you some angle shots of it. Um, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut these lights out that are above it because I'm getting too much reflection from them. But um, there it is. It's really a nice, nice piece. Uh, there's a red in the eagle. There's a purple problem. Like I said, most of these cards are unpunched in really nice shape. There are some issues with a, with a few of them. Red enamel 312P. Green Lotus Turbine, another 917 in the gray. Nice white interior on that and the pink. The pink one has a white interior as well. Beautiful examples, and then the rose uh, looks red, but it is rose, 57 uh, bird. All right, so there's 22 blister packs there. Uh, we'll start in the first row. As you can see, we have some, the concept cars, like the Special Delivery, Mutt Mobile, Rocket by Baby, Blue Hot Heap, T for Two, that's that lime yellow color. This is a yellow uh, power pad. That's the second one I've got in these two collections. Yellow with creamer, beautiful, beautiful light blue python with a white interior, tough piece. Really nice uh, blue Corvette with a white interior. Uh, black roof, white interior, uh, olive cougar. Uh, red mistral with a white interior, obviously. Uh, hot heap rose, magenta carabo, uh, red, white interior. Volkswagen, that's really nice, deep red color in that. Um, so you got the, you know, the 70... Uh, you got the mongoose, the yellow uh, and white snakes, the red uh, mongoose. Really nice blue, white interior. Uh, no black roof uh, Camaro. Uh, red sugar caddy, really nice blue python. Beautiful AMX with a white interior blue. Uh, olive McLaren and the AMX2. Uh, that is actually uh, like a rose, rose pink. Uh, really nice purple. Uh, 57 bird gold Torero turbo fire in olive 
really nice heavyweights. There's a school bus. Yes, it does have the blower in it. Green snorkel, fire engine, blue waste wagon, orange with white interior dump truck. It's a really nice piece. Uh, you can see it a little bit better there. There's a pit crew car. There is uh, the racer rig and the team trailer, both in beautiful shape. A couple really nice chappies, um, really nice rose cord. Uh, a green uh, 280SL with some toning. A little bit of toning on the back of that beatnik. I don't know if you can see it, just slightly. Uh, green twin mill, continental, um, iced tea, rolls in this, you know, never picked up a rolls in 30 years just about um, in any other color than the gray enamel. Aqua six shooter, Harry Hauler, beautiful, beautiful light green Nomad. Some really nice condition splitters. Uh, Demon, bug eye, beautiful, beautiful mantis, no toning, hot pink. Uh, purple fleet side, yeah, a little bit, of, little bit of issues with that, not much. Nice peeper, uh, nice moving van, tow truck, dump truck, you know, more white interior heavy waste, which is always nice. Aqua, uh, snorkel, and the fuel tanker. Uh, and then the uh, you get that little flaking on the uh, ambulance with the white interior. Other than that, it's really nice. Wheels are really good. Uh, all the wheels, this is another collection that really didn't have much play. We're out of uh, California, San Luis Obispo. Um, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, Coop, Vicky, and Woody. Just gorgeous, all three of them. Just are stunning pieces, as well as the spoilers. Just great. Mod quad, really nice dark green. Uh, some people might call that olive, but I call that dark green. Um, Beach bomb, really nice aqua, bifocal. Beautiful blue, mighty maverick, gold silhouette, char gold charger with only some slight toning on the hood. Not a whole bunch, but you know, obviously the white interior on that. Beautiful noodle head. Gorgeous, gorgeous uh, police cruiser. Beautiful magenta, 917. And there you go, you got some nice spoilers. Two purple ones, my favorites. Um, and there's a custom Firebird. And, uh, you know, Ford J in there. Got the Lola, uh, Ford Mark IV, uh, the Hot Heap, Red Baron Python, and the Fire Chief Cruiser. Uh, you got some more Bandits of What For, Lotus. Eldo, that's got that's probably the worst condition car in the whole group. I don't know what happened to that. You get all this uh, modeling on, throughout the paint and the metal. Yellow swing and wing. This uh, short order, which is one of my favorite castings, has some toning on the roof. Other than that, nice. Now this is a beautiful orange, 312P. Unfortunately, the back hatch toned out. Not unusual for that car. Beautiful try, baby. Uh, no toning there. Seasider. That's an olive cockney. That's a red. Uh, really a funny color, sand crab. It almost had, seems like it has some orange in it. Even in person, it looks more orange than that. Uh, beautiful uh, jackrabbit, uh, barracuda with a white interior. That's got some toning, though, too, on the roof. But, you know, these cars are 52, 53 years old. Um, you got the hood, and you got all the club cars. White interior, king kudo, all three are beautiful. Twin mill. Um, there is the paddy wagon, and then some sizzlers. So, uh, really nice live wire and hot pink uh, I've never seen before. So, there it is. There's the collection. Um, to show you what I think are the real highlights. Obviously, the black roof, white interior, olive cougar. Uh, the light blue python. That's a highlight for me. Um, I always like getting the cords in that condition, especially. And that's a pretty color for it. Love the mantis and hot pink in that condition as well. Um, heavyweights are great. Um, really a lot of nice cars in here. That blue Camaro with the white interior is really nice. But, uh, you know, just uh, I'd say about 75% of this collection is in really nice, unplayed with condition. And the other ones have some issues from storage and, um, you know, whatever uh, the humidity or heat or hot or cold or whatever it was that affected the paint uh, of these cars over the last five decades. You know, it's understandable. But, you know, when you get that many that are in really nice condition like these are, you know, it's a really good, it's a good day in the red line world for all of us because I will be putting a lot of these to market. All right, I don't need this many uh, red lines. <laughs> Maybe someone else does, just not me. All right, y'all take care. Uh, happy hunting. 
Good luck. Hope you all can have this experience one day. Getting a collection like this is a great feeling. It feels like Christmas all over again when this happens. Uh, next up will be the, um, the collection out of Iowa that has a connection also to uh, uh, a former Mattel employee. And there's some very interesting pieces in there. I think that a couple people that I've shared uh, pictures with up to this day have, uh, you know, really excited about uh, seeing it. So, you know, this took me a while today. Uh, I do have a life outside of red lines. You might not think it, but um, I do have some things to do. So uh, I do have a Hot Wheels set up uh, behind my bar there. It's pretty cool. It certainly stimulates a lot of conversation. So take care, everybody, and uh, stay tuned for more uh, really cool videos as the collections uh, come in. Have a great weekend.